Good afternoon, good afternoon. I am Sandgrain1 and this is my industrial craft diamond factory automated with build craft. And uh, we are going to take a closer look at how I build this uh, as a short building tutorial. It is pretty basic, it's a um, fairly old industrial craft production chain we are using here. Coal is the input, it's being macerated to coal dust. Combined with flint uh, creates a coal ball that can be compressed in a compressor. Combined, combine the compressed coal balls with obsidian and you can create something called coal chunks and when coal chunks is compressed, uh, the result is diamond. So, industrial craft, build craft, and actually a little bit of forestry here. I'm using a biogenerator to power the system. Let's build this thing. Let's start with the power supply. And this can, of course, be anything you fancy does not need to be uh, forestry of course doesn't even need to be placed so close so this is the powering of the macerator and we're going to give it a hopper and uh, this is the input chest for coal automatic crafting table is smart enough to take resources from any adjacent inventory and that includes machines like for example the macerator there and the other input is going to be flint so we can set that rule straight away making coal balls uh, we need to get the coal into the macerator I'm going to do that afterwards I just want to place these machines first Two, sp two spaces here and then we have the compressor I'm making it a little bit different from that one with a hopper as well then we need two other pipes and the output chest this chest here is for obsidian and we have a crafting table to combine the compressed coal balls with obsidian so we can set that rule as well here, like so. So now we need, I believe, piping and power to the machines here. We can start with the power to the machines. I didn't have it there. So we are going to take power from that. LV transformer to the two machines and this should now be powered and then we need uh, the pipes and uh, some gates here and some pipe wire so we're going to take Uh, going to take a uh, coal from the chest there pump it up and into the hopper and we're going to pump based on a certain rule so if there is room for re if there is room for any resources actually let's use the inventory empty rule that should send a pipe signal and if there is a pipe signal then pump coal. So let's give it coal. So this will pump coal into the macerator, creating coal dust. Let's just put some excess coal dust here. And the flint. The coal balls should be pumped out of the automatic crafting table there. Uh, we're using a sandstone pipe to avoid any interaction with this machine 
and then we get it up so that we can put uh, put uh, things in from the top uh, from the top of the compressor you can set that as well actually uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit I don't think we're going to be too concerned about filling up this one so we will pump in any coal balls all the time uh, because the macerator is too slow to keep up with the compressor anyway. We will pump uh, any compressed materials out from the compressor and uh, into these two different directions here. Let's see, did I, I have so let's set the rules here. Going to all compressed coal balls should go up into the crafting table. And I have set the rules here. And that will create a coal chunk. The coal chunk should then be pumped out of the automatic crafting table and back into the compressor we can do that just as easy like that and that should be everything did I remember the rule here yes I think this is it this is now creating diamonds for us uh, maybe we forgot something here Yeah, it's like that. That should create the first coal ball. Coal ball will travel here up and be turned into coal compressed coal balls. And if you have enough compressed coal balls with some uh, obsidian uh, that will be pumped out of that uh, crafting table and into let's uh, give that first and that should generate our diamond and that's it pretty straightforward I think um, I didn't have compactness as one of my goals when I created this but uh, I still find it to be fairly compact and uh, fairly straightforward as well any feedback is uh, welcomed, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.